Welcome back to Terrain by Aaron. Are you well? So this week's build is this. I saw this in the local um, cheapy shop. It's like the dollar store, pound store, euro store. Even though everything isn't a euro, it's usually around two, three euros. Uh, a set of five, um, I don't know, construction um, toys. Um, so what I'm going to do is take them all apart and make my own kind of like a transformer but it won't transform if that makes sense so you know what that means cue the music and let's start scratching this build now when i say it's going to be like a transformer it's going to kind of look like a transformer it's going to have the body of the transformer let's put it that way so what i'm doing right now is i'm just deciding on which of the vehicles i'm going to use as the main body move all them away so i can get a nice tidy workstation get the cutting mat out and maybe a knife as well yeah okay there's the knife safety first i'm going to use this one as the main body of the build and what I'm going to do is take the wheels off and then I'm going to use some legs from a previous build uh, from years ago and uh, I'm going to use them because I want it to have some sturdy legs so it can freestand. And before anybody sends any comments in about me waving the knife around, um, this plastic is really soft so it's dead easy to cut and uh, as you can see I'm pretty much always pointing the knife away from me there's a safety tip so I just need to take these wheels off and I'm gonna use this as the main body of the build that is too flappy um, need to rectify that by sticking that down with some super glue um, so here I'm just gonna stick it down with super glue uh, I just sanded all the main bits that I'm using with uh, contact with the super glue just to get a better uh, fit I didn't have to use the old um, baking soda because uh, this plastic was uh, was grand to uh, to glue to and if I wanted uh, a quicker uh, uh, join I just use a little spritz of the um, the uh, super glue activator so now I'm just gonna pile a load of super glue onto there and this is one of the said legs from a previous build and by magic it just fitted without me having to do anything to the legs so I'm just gonna put both legs on and then we're gonna start throwing stuff onto the main part of the body so the reason why I did this build was because I keep getting a lot of uh, emails asking how I come up with these ideas and basically you just it's this is how I do it this I just make look at fits and see how things join together and to you or some people might go no oh, well, that don't fit very well but it's a scratch build they're not designed to do this there's they've been built in a specific way and it's just to try and find a different way to make them into something different so that cab there without the wheels is going to be stuck onto the back of this one and um, it kind of looks like there's I've got my head there now there's the head and it's all taking shape there's the body of the uh, of the main build all done and dusted so now it's just adding the uh, the two other cranes either side to act as arms and that's it that's that is the build virtually now what I'm going to use this bit here I'm just going to stick into the back of there um, just because I thought it would look cool and you know for a bit more sort of detailing instead of uh, having uh, stuff to go to waste I tried to use as much of the build as as I could and to get uh, things just to sort of like marry up and match proper a uh, little bit better I just uh, just trimmed down and uh, nibbled away at the plastic until um, it sort of sat right if that makes sense and while I've got your attention if you don't mind and you're new to the channel if you would just give it a like uh, possibly subscribe uh, that would be brilliant just to try and keep the momentum going um, you guys are amazing me and uh, this channel wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you guys 
so thank you very much i appreciate all your support now that i've buttered you all up uh back to the build so what i'm going to do now is people are going to go oh you're using a hot glue gun yes that is correct because i realized that the hot glue gun would just be as good as the super glue for this build so you'll see me use either super glue or hot glue uh, simply because the plastic is fantastic and it worked with either um, solvent solvent yeah solvent no doubt I'll get comments about that um, back to this build uh, I'm just going to take the wheels off uh, as you can see this plastic is really great I've, I've broken these clippers by the way these blue handle clippers I um, was trying to uh, cut something the other night and one of the uh, one of the clippy bits um, snapped off so I'm gonna have to start saving for some of them uh, anyway so this is I'm just gonna trim this plastic down because it's kind of like um, at an angle so I'm just gonna try and get it as straight as possible now I didn't show you what I did, but I used the uh, old hobby knife just to cut it because it was uh, super soft, was the plastic. I keep going on about how soft this plastic was. I need to stop. Anyway, using the hot glue gun and just going to stick that on to the side. And that is going to be one of this robot's arms, which will actually move as well. I know. I'm so excited. I've actually made something that, that kind of moves. So proud with myself that I've actually made a robot that has movable arms, even though it doesn't look like a robot. Well, it kind of looks like a robot. Yeah, okay. Stop showing off now. Um, I'm going to use the same technique for the other side, even though it's a smaller arm. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be technically an arm. So just going to hot glue that onto that side. And there we have two arms that actually can be posed and move about. Oops. Yeah, just wait till the glue's set first, Aaron, before you start messing about. So once that is done, then I'm just going to add some more bits and pieces that have uh, I've snipped off these uh, these construction vehicles, and then it'll be on to the priming. Now I did say I was going to prime it but then I thought hang on it needs some wires so I decided to just add some wires to it just to I don't know give it a different kind of look so just added these uh, wires that came from an old USB cable uh, just trimmed it down and uh, stuck them in now it was ready to prime uh, so I just primed it uh, a rattle can black and then it was on to the airbrushing Now, just before it went to the priming, I decided to stick beads on it because every good robot at least has some beads that look like rivets. So I decided to stick some uh, of these uh, sticky beads down just here and there, just to uh, sort of give it some sort of more um, detailing. Then I stopped tarting about with it and took it to the priming station. So after a couple of attempts at uh, trying to prime this, still missed bits and pieces here and there. Didn't matter because that will add to the weathering at uh, the end of the build. But for now, everything still works. I'm just loosening all the joints and everything. Everything still moves. Lovely. And uh, yeah, stop playing with the machine and start painting, Aaron. Which I decided to do dark green. And then decided that I didn't like the dark green. So I repainted it a light green and uh, if you're a regular viewer on this channel you will know that I am like this I will paint something and then repaint it multiple times because I don't like the color to start off with it's my gift it's my curse and what I did off screen because I forgot to turn the camera on was add go faster stripes to um, the uh, the robot on each sort of elbow so there's go faster stripes on there and i'm just painting in the sort of like his viewing screen and the side panels uh, i think it's like a deep purple there's a song there somewhere 
And for all the young viewers, if you don't know who Deep Purple is, Christ, I am old. So just to show you what I did with the Go Faster stripes, I'm just repainting it yellow, uh, and then I'll rip the masking tape off, and it'll just have like hazard lines on there. I didn't want to go too heavy with the uh, painting, so what I did was um, with the sort of like it had some grates on uh, on the um, on the plastic vehicles, so I'm just painting them. Uh, it's like a steampunk copper, just to um, bring out the. Uh, the grating sort of effect that's uh, on the vehicles and then once that paint had dried I ripped off the masking tape didn't matter if it had bled through the masking tape because you know it's going to be weathered so you won't sort of see that um, so once that was done then I got some silver and just highlighted some of the hydraulics that was on the actual uh, vehicles themselves and then after that it was the weathering So with the weathering, I used some of the chipping medium that I used in one of my previous builds and just um, painted that all around the edges of the, uh, the, the build and then just lightly went around with a damp Q-tip or ear poker thing um, just to bring out the um, sort of like the scratches and the, the sort of like nicks and dents and things. I don't have any more to describe really uh, it was just to sort of like give it that weathered beating up look around the edges and once that was done it was on to the glamour shots so thank you very much for watching keep liking subscribing it's helping with the algorithm and until next time keep scratching that build everybody mm -hmm.